Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go to Space. I'm coming at you today with a video on another type of water horse, the Hippocampus, or Hippocampoi and Hippocamps in plural. These creatures are from Greek mythology, but can be found on picture stones and in Phoenician, Roman, and Etruscan mythology too. They are a being with a horse's top half and a fish-like bottom half. Hippocampi could be found in both fresh and salt water, and according to mosaics that feature them, they had fish fins green scales, two hooved legs and a fish tail, as well as a long mane. In legend, they were benevolent and would rescue sailors from sea monsters or who had fallen into the water, and because of this they were seen as a good omen. They became a symbol of agility, creativity, the imagination and strength, and Homer wrote in the Iliad that Poseidon's chariot was pulled by hippocamps. Later, Apollonius of Rhodes wrote that the horses of Poseidon came out of the sea and rode across the sands at Libya. These creatures are very closely linked to the god of the oceans, for obvious reasons, but some legends even go so far as to say that he created them. The hippocampus could be seen in the oriental phase of the Etruscan civilization. Images of them were found on reliefs and tomb paintings, and in these depictions they actually had wings. Now in Scotland, there are fish-tailed horses on the picture stones that were meant to be the hippocampoi, but Scotland does have a lot of their own water horse stories, and especially ones like the Nugler. So because they're so similar, I'm not 100% sure if they're actually depicting the hippocampus or if they're depicting one of their own water horses. Now we can actually still see some Roman depictions of these creatures. Because they had been used on the Trevi fountain in Rome, and were deemed to be very appropriate decor for Roman baths, so they were used very frequently in the mosaics. During the medieval and renaissance era, they had begun to be used on heraldry and armour, and even to this day they featured as the symbol for the Royal Air Force. This has been done since 1933, but they do use the winged hippocampus versions. And if ever you're in Leinster in Ireland, head to the Grattan Bridge, near the statue of Henry Grattan, on the lampposts, you might be able to see little hippocampi figures. Also, if you're a fan of Rick Ryden, they can be found in the Percy Jackson series. And the last little piece of information, in 2019, one of Neptune's small moons was given the name Hippocamp, since the planet it orbits is named after the Roman version of the god Poseidon. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like, subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video, in the comments section and on Twitter. Bye!